G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags and welcome back aboard HMAS Rankin, Collins class diesel electric submarine. And we are out of the South China Sea and in the Philippine Sea at the moment, hopefully hunting down a bunch of Russian nuclear attack boats that have been sent to China to back them up. So, let's see what we've managed to catch today. And straight off the bat, Comp I think we might have our group. One is classified as submerged I submarine. think we might have our group. Now, I'm kind of hoping this isn't a submarine to our back. In fact, I'm thinking that's probably something surface, maybe? What is that? It's a merchant. Yep, okay, that's Comp fine. Sonar that's actually zero, really good, because that'll be helping cover us. As now, we were told to expect victors and potentially a coolers. It's a merchant as well. Con sonar Sierra Two is classified as. So merchant. we are only detecting one here. So I am going to turn. Come right to follow one, the same four, path five, as the merchant and we'll get our towed array out. So conditions, we do have a duct and a layer. I'm going to put us at 200 feet Peak to have a listen. Two, zero, zero feet, die by. Victor is at 10.1 kiloyards. And that one is confirmed, and it's running above, so once we're... No, it's below, it's moving below the layer. Alright, we're going to fire our torpedo now. Shoot two, one. Aye, sir. And I'm going to send it the opposite direction to the direction we're heading. Get that torpedo out before we go below the layer, although it's coming up. So yeah, we've swapped. We've just dropped below the layer, they've just gone above the layer. It's only a weak duct though, so it shouldn't, shouldn't transfer the sound through at this range. Shift north. And we're going a little bit, probably a little bit too slow. What speed's the merchant going at? It's going at 15 knots, and we're only going at 10. No, 5. We'll only be at 5. Con, helm, steady course. Con, dive at 2, oh. zero, zero, Switching the torpedo by. to run parallel. To the, uh, the victor's vector. <laughs> so yeah, we're not going to have any noise coverage from that merge for much longer. In fact, we've probably already lost it. Con, sonar. Launch transient from Sierra 1. Torpedo's been detected, that's fine. Set depth. 1000. Make depth 1000 zero, zero, zero feet, dive by. No, torpedo's coming at us. Alright, that's not what I was after. Come left to Turn in zero, nine, zero. Helm I. Now, I was kind of hoping we'd have an opportunity to have a little bit of a listen around once the shit show started, because I don't think the victor will be alone. There'll be at least two. Turn. Come left to straight on. Zero, eight. Seven. Helm, I. Retract the tow array because we're going to go to flank in a moment. I just want our torpedo out and running at max. So, assuming. Change our depth on our torpedo a little bit, so I put it right on the layer. Con helm. Right on the core. layer, assuming the Victor doesn't make any major changes, like does doesn't change too far in terms of depth. It should still pick it up even if the wire breaks. Make turns. Running twenty. Two zero knots. Maneuvering eye. I'm going to 
run at the torpedo as hard as we possibly can. There's... Gun fire control, we've lost the wire. Yep, thought that might happen, that's okay, the torpedo's set, hopefully that's enough. Now the trick is, can we get in underneath theirs? Victor's making a turn back. What's its current speed? Gun, it's 30 knots. Making turns for two, zero knots. No, their torpedo's active, that's not going to work. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Go quiet. We're not going to get in underneath it. They activated that really short. Which is smart. So we just cost us a wire and we're not actually going to achieve anything out of it. But it was worth the shot. Countermeasures are prepped. We do have a MOS loaded, so I can dodge it. These will not be some of the cheaper Chinese torpedoes we've been having to deal with. This will be a Russian equivalent to the Mark 48. And the Victor 3 absolutely does have wire control. So that torpedo could be diving to our depth if the Victor picked us up. Although the Victor is running at 30 knots, so it shouldn't have been able to hear us even when we were running at 20. I kind of want to ping. Now I'm keeping us on the same track as the incoming torpedo because it'll actually be easier for us to evade if we pop the Moss out rear then charge underneath the torpedo if it detects us and is diving at us, get underneath its cone, let it pick up the moss and then just run for the surface and do a massive depth change. And once it gets to the moss and turns back, hopefully we should be outside of its cone. The question is whether or not our Mark 48 is going to be within range of the Victor. It's going to be able to pick up the Victor with that trip south. It's possible the Victor here may actually evade. Yeah, especially if it makes a right-hand turn towards us. I know it might seem in most of the videos that I play this slow, quiet game and I don't use, you know, like the Victor here, running running at high speed a lot. It's because the Collins class is so slow. The Collins class, one of the advantages of a diesel-electric submarine is it is very, very, very quiet when it's running in stealth. You know, it's, when it's running, you know, in silent running and it's, it's not pushing anything, it has very little noise. Stealth is the primary advantage of these submarines. They, they are not fast. You know, sort of a 20 knot, little over 20 knot top speed, I can't do the maneuvers the Victor can do at speed, and I can't do the evasion that the Victor can do at speed, or anything that's really can get up around that 30 knot part. So I have to use the advantages of the submarine that I have. I'm not going to dodge torpedoes with a 20 knot top speed, not easily. And we're good. It looks like our torpedo is tracking the Victor, which is. And it looks like theirs is going to pass over us. There it is there. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, zero, six. Alright, so, not detected, we got outside the cone, that's good. Our torpedo is tracking. I'm going to set us back to 900. Zero, zero feet, it looks like the Victor, if it did have wire control, broke the wire trying to evade itself. Our Mark 48 seems to be tracking beautifully. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, zero, six. Uh, torpedo has taken the countermeasure there, unfortunately. Torpedo passed. It's going to make its turn back. Con sonar, noise maker. Another bearing. countermeasure One, out, but I think the torpedo is inside five. this time. Con sonar lost Impact. contact. Sierra. One. Last bearing. One. Zero. Five. Contact breaking up. Dive at nine zero zero feet. 
die by. All right, so holding 900. Threat's been removed for the moment, but now... Deploy the toad array. Actually, we'll change depth again to 800. Depth what we're going to have to do zero, now is go active. Because we need to clear the rest of the space. Nobody else has moved, nobody else has reacted, nobody else has done anything so far. So we're going to have to have a listen and see if there's anybody else here before we go. It could be the victor was just operating alone. I would have expected there to be at least two, but it, it could just be the one. I just, I have this sneaking suspicion that it's not. There should be a second. And an Akula will be a friggin' nightmare to detect if it, if it doesn't want to be detected. Toad arrays out. Close enough to 800 feet for me, going active. Con sonar, switching to active search. First ping. Con, dive at 800 zero, zero feet, dive by. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Con sonar, switching the passive search. We're alone. Right, so after action report, enemy engaged, one Victor 3 sunk. We've still got nine Mark 48s remaining on board. We still have one Harpoon remaining and two Moss. Crew, for, crew proficiency increased with 29,000 experience gained. So, a, a clean kill, but there was only one. Please resume your actual mission objective. Okay, so we got a Victor 3 here, but this was not our mission objective. That's interesting. Right, so we're still in the Philippine Sea, a little bit further north than we were before. There is a very... Con, dive at one, five, zero feet, dive by. Well, I reckon Con that's sonar. a Victor, and that's Sierra really close. Is classified as submerged submarine. Jesus, that is really close. Sierra 2, what have we got? I have a sneaking suspicion that's going to be a merchant. Yeah, I reckon that's a merchant. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classified as merchant. Conditions in the water. It's only 79 decibels. We got a strong layer and a strong duct. Right, the Victor's diving down. I'm going to deploy the toad array. So we can have a little bit of a listen, and then I'm going to get above the layer into the duct. And yep, confirmed Victor. 6.2 kiloyards. We're going to make a right hand Zero, turn eight, and we're going to bring the nose around so that we're shielding our screw. It's going to affect our ability to hear, but we've got a pretty good beat on this guy already. Hopefully he'll continue his right hand turn and it'll actually bring us into his baffles. We get a torpedo off from behind, although if we do that, we'll definitely pull ourselves up into the duct before we fire. 
and then keep the torpedo in the duct and drop it down on top of him. Yeah, for the moment, I think what we're going to do here is sit and wait just to see how he reacts. At the very least for the moment, he doesn't appear to be aware of actually where we are. Also, that'll give us a little bit of time to work out if there's somebody else in the area as well, just beyond him. Alright, so we have a window here, the Victor's starting to turn back, so we're going to change depth, Make depth bring ourselves up to 100 zero, feet zero into the duct while it's deep, and then get our torpedo out and let our torpedo run as quickly as we can straight forward and away from us. Now, small amount of cheating here, we can actually look at the Victor 3, since we've got a good bead on it, we can see it's actually got its total rate out, so it's listening at the moment. And its current speed is 10 knots, so it's absolutely going to hear well. And at 79 decibels in the water, it's not exactly loud. So we're relying on the duct and the layer here to actually shield our transient. Otherwise, it will absolutely hear this. And there is a chance that it's going to hear it anyway. So this could turn into a fight. Right, current depth. Dive at one, zero, zero feet. Dive by. The Victor is turning back. It looks like it's running an S pattern. Turn some more. No, you're going to continue the turn right. All right. Shoot on sonar. Launch train. And we've encountered fired Sierra straight away. One. Okay, running the torpedo short. Retract the toad. Well, they know we're here, Con so we sonar. might as well ping while we're at it. See if there's search. anybody else in the area. Yeah, the second we fired. Now I'm going to turn Helm in right on the Victor's one, top. Five, nine, Helm I. Increase Make to 8 knots. Eight knots. Increase to 10. I. Con sonar, we are cavitating. That's fine, I don't care if we're cavitating. Shorten that up. I just want speed at 10 already, so I've got a little bit of the acceleration already taken care of. Con, helm, steady course. All right, so let's drop the torpedo down to about 600 feet. So it's running a little bit deeper than that, but that's fine. And... Con sonar, switching the passive search. So we got nobody else inside of the area. Setting the torpedo to active homing. Alright. Should we gonna match depth on the Victor because it's running. Let's confirm depth. Yeah, it looks like it's running at its test depth. So we'll bring the torpedo down a little bit further, make sure it's lined up. Right, going 20 Eight knots. Turns for two, zero, Changing our depth to 200. High. Wire is broken. Dive at two zero zero feet. Dive by. It's interesting. The Victor seems to be aware of the fact that the wire is broken. It maneuvered the second the wire snapped. It looks like their torpedo, their 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 run looks like they may have broken their own wire. So we may actually be good here. I think we're going to cross over, although I don't have any idea what depth that torpedo is running at. That's running near the surface. And yeah, it would have picked us up already. Yeah, there we are there. Yeah, 
actually can't see the torpedo, but the torpedo can see us regardless. All right, we're going to go silent. Quiet. Second torpedo prepped. Come right to two, three, three, helm, I. Yeah, it looks like ours hasn't picked up the Victor either because the Victor's changed depth so much. So we get a second torpedo out. Shukan sonar regained contact on Sierra 2. Bearing make sure one, we've got eight, the first seven. shot off. Come right to run 90 two, degrees three, to the torpedo. Nine, helm, I. And again, we're going to pull. Oh, actually, we'll leave ours as is. Once we've completed the turn, actually we can, we are not in something where we can uh, avoid that, so we'll drop the total ray now, so we can just make sure we keep a good track on the Victor. Right, yeah, confirm first torpedo has missed, Victor is turning back on second Con torpedo. Sonar. Launch transient from. Whoa, okay, wow, that's not what I was hoping for, change depth. One, thousand zero, and zero, we are zero, going eight, to nine. fire the moss if it's tracking us I want it tracking that moss and not us I have no idea what the hell it was shooting at then Con, helm, steady course Con, torpedo room, tube one ready All right. So the rocket launch tor torpedo landed between us and the incoming torp. So it's likely the Victor has heard the torp. So that moss was probably a waste. But still, it was worth it. It was worth it just for the distraction, make them think multiple points where we could potentially be, lose track of exactly where we are. Let's get this torpedo going, it's the Victor's running at 30 knots again. Pretty sure Con, it'll be up torpedo to. room, tube six yeah, ready. 28, although it looks like it's decelerating, but we'll see. Bring the torpedo down to depth. No active on this one. And we'll let it run through. And it should catch our Victor. And this time, because we're not running, we won't break the wire. Alright, Torpedo has acquired the Victor 3. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing 178. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. And Torpedo looks like it's tracking through the countermeasure. Take a bit of a look. Just a bit of a ghost image of the submarine here at the moment. There'll be a second countermeasure in just a Con moment. Sonar, there it noise is. Maker bearing one, seven, nine. Countermeasure releases are somewhat predictable. Once you are, uh, once you learn them, we'll adjust the torpedo around. Con, fire control, weapon torpedo acquired. Torpedo reacquired. Tracking target. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, and there's one, our second victor of one, the day. Eight. Zero. Well, actually, Contact I think this has played out. out over like three days so far. But regardless, second victor down, at least for this video. And it doesn't appear that there's anything else left in the area. So I'm actually going to do a... Wait, no, we'll stay on course. We'll stay on course where we are. We'll bring ourselves up to 800 feet to make sure we're clear of pressure a little bit. And, uh... Well, he's going to have a really bad day. We just have to wait till these torpedoes go and we can uh, cleanly exit the area. 
All right, so another Victor three sunk, down to seven Mark 48s remaining. So we're starting to run out there. And again, this was not the mission target. So that's interesting. We know that there's Victor threes coming down from Russia. We're looking for Victor threes and Akulas mixed together as the primary target. And we're sort of in the area where we would expect them to be passing through. But these two Victor threes were not what we were looking for. So this looks like uh, China's got a massive upgrade and there's going to be a hell of a lot more Victor threes popping up in the near future. Anyways, ladies and gents, hope you enjoyed this one and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning to the channel very soon. Uh, apologies for the Friday release for this one. Um, it was supposed to come out on Monday, but yeah, events. So anyways, it will be back next week and uh, until next time, take care.